Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas for Yolo Live, and today we're going to talk about one of the great features of the Yolo Box in InStream. It's the ability to handle internal and external storage for media playback and recording. The internal video playback capability is one of our customers' favorite features on the Yolo Box and InStream. Whether it be logos, titles, animations, GIFs, videos, and even PDFs, these can easily be accessed by the Yolo Box via the internal SD card or the USB port that's built into every one of our devices. But there are times when the SD card may not be recognized or no images or videos are recognized after inserting the SD card. There's a few things you can do to ensure smooth sailing when using the SD card. First of all, which Yolo Box are you using? The original Yolo Box was released in 2017 and has two HDMI ports along the top edge. Not to be confused with the InStream, which also has two HDMI ports, but also has a quarter 20 threaded mount on both sides, and vents along the raised back panel to dissipate internal heat. The original Yolo Box has a flat back with no cooling. For the original Yolo Box, make sure your SD card is less than 128 gig and is formatted in the FAT32 format. If your computer or even your video camera reformatted the card as EXFAT or some other format, it won't be recognized in the original Yolo Box. Check and reformat the card in a computer if you have issues. To check the format of your SD card on a Mac, Insert the SD card into an SD card slot or media reader. Right click the media and select Get Info. This will show you the format of your SD card. If your SD card is not FAT32, you'll need to reformat it to be FAT32. Click the search icon or type command space and start to type Disk Utilities. Open Disk Utility. In the left sidebar, select the SD card. At the top of Disk Utility, click the Erase icon. Make sure to select FAT in the Format pull-down menu. Then click the Erase button. Then you're done. In Windows, to check the format of your SD card, insert the SD card into an SD card slot or media reader. Right-click on the disk and select Properties, and check the SD card format file system. If your SD card is not FAT32, you'll need to reformat it to be FAT32. Right-click on your SD card and select Format. In the Format pop-up window, make sure the file system is FAT32, click Start, and you're done. Now, if you are having problems that your videos or images cannot be recognized, make sure that the images are in JPEG or the PNG format if you have transparency. GIF and animated GIF are also supported. Your videos can be MP4, MKV, MOV, but not with a transparent background, MPG, VOB, but not AVI or WMV, which is Windows Movie. The Yolo Box Pro is a newer machine and has an upgraded SD card reader capable of handling SD cards formatted with FAT32, EXFAT, and NTFS with up to one terabyte of storage. So your 256 and 512 gigabyte SD cards will work on the Pro, but not the original Yolo Box, which again is limited to 128 gigabyte cards. The Yolo Box Pro handles image files in JPEG, PNG, and GIF. The Yolo Box Pro also supports video files in MP4, MKV, MOV with no transparent background, MPG, and VOB, but again, not AVI or Windows Movie. Next, remember that the Yolo Box and InStream can also use a USB stick for the same thing. If you're having an issue with the SD card, but the card is readable in another device, put your media onto a USB stick and plug that into your Yolo Box USB port to access your media. 
As always, make sure your YOLO box or InStream is up to date. Go to the account screen and an upgrade notification window will pop up if there's a new update available. If you still need help, please feel free to reach out to tech support at support at yololive.com. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.